Hello and welcome to Radiation Therapy's question and answer email video. This person writes, Adam, what exactly are monitor units? If the call vault was able to use normal time increments, the minute, why can we not use the same or seconds on the LINAC? I understand how to calculate monitor units and I understand they are based upon dose, but I don't understand why a monitor unit is used. What is at work here that makes it necessary, and is it a time increment, or is it a time increment plus some other factor? Thanks. Basically, a monitor unit is just an arbitrary unit. Um, and this arbitrary unit is uh, set up so that uh, it equals one centigrade under a certain uh, set of conditions. And unfortunately, because every clinic is different, um, uh, they have different sets of conditions that uh, one centigrade equals one monitor unit. Um, so I can't speak for your clinic, but I will try to give you uh, a pretty common uh, scenario. So in my example, uh, we'll say that one centigrade equals one monitor unit for a field size of uh, 10 by 10 at 100 SSD at Dmax. And I'll expand this even farther. We'll say that we're dealing with a 6x uh, photon beam. So we'll say Dmax is at uh, one and a half centimeters. So if you were to set up on the LINAC um, one monitor unit and you were to set up a measuring device that was um, uh, set to 100 SSD at a depth of one and a half centimeters, um, you would expect for a 10 by 10 field size to measure one centigrade. And so right now we've just established a reference. Um, we know what our monitor unit is equal to. If we change any variables, uh, and this comes into play with TMR, percent depth, those field size, uh, off axis factor, a whole mess of other factors, um, we are going to change uh, uh, the dose. So uh, I'll give you an example. Let's say we have a uh, 20 by 20 field size. Everything else remained constant. We still set up one monitor unit on the machine and we're measuring at 100 SSD plus uh, one and a half centimeters. In this scenario, I would expect to measure more dose and that's because we kept our monitor unit the same and as you know, as you field size gets bigger uh, due to scatter, uh, we have more dose. So uh, in this example, maybe we measure 1.1 centigrade. Well, if I wanted to deliver one centigrade, uh, I have to adjust my monitor unit and make it less than one monitor unit to deliver one centigrade. So pretty much with all those equations, when you calculate out your monitor units, that's all you're doing. You are just setting this all up to a known set of references. So on to the question. Basically, a monitor unit is just used out of convenience. Uh, first of all, um, well, this probably doesn't really matter that much, but I personally think it's much easier to set uh, 111 monitor units rather than program up 2 minutes and 23 seconds. To me, that's just messy. A lot easier to deal with a monitor unit in that scenario, but that's just me. More importantly, though, a monitor unit pretty much takes, actually, it takes time right out of the uh, equation. So, uh, for example, um, let's say I've got 300 monitor units, and if we want to change how quickly we deliver those monitor units, I would adjust my dose rate. And the, I would not recommend doing this, by the way, but a dose rate um, is on the Linux side, generally speaking. And uh, what is meant by dose rate is it's, it's defined as monitor units per minute. So if we have a dose rate of 300 monitor units per minute, I program up 300 monitor units, in one minute, it'll take one minute to deliver those 300 monitor units. If I changed my dose rate to, let's say, 600 monitor units per minute, and I still had 300 programmed on the machine, it would take exactly 30 seconds to deliver those monitor units. So I pretty much am going to be able to deliver them in half the time. The nice thing about the monitor unit, I don't have to do a recalculation. I'm adjusting all that on uh, the Linux side or just changing my dose rate. If we were to deal with time, I would have to do a recalculation. So if I changed my dose rate and we were dealing with time and I said, oh, okay, well, this patient is going to have to be on the table for two minutes and uh, I change my dose rate to deliver it twice as fast, I'd have to recalculate and figure out, oh, okay, well, I need to leave the patient on for a minute. That is a lot 
uh, uh, that is a lot harder to deal with than dealing with the monitor unit. So right there is one huge advantage of the monitor unit. It takes time out of the equation. And kind of to go along with that, uh, your dose rate uh, fluctuates a little bit. This isn't a big deal, um, but uh, if uh, next time um, you're running the Linux, just look at the dose rate. Uh, if it's programmed for 300 minus per minute, it may go to 301, 302, 298, 299, you know, it'll fluctuate a little bit. If we were using time, uh, that fluctuation, that small fluctuation, uh, would in fact, um, uh, that would not be good because we could potentially underdose or overdose slightly uh, of what we are trying to deliver. So the mono unit, um, because of the Linux fluctuation, is a lot more precise than if we use time. Thankfully, uh, I wasn't around uh, when Cobalt 60 was widely used, uh, so I pretty much have no experience with using Cobalt. But with Cobalt, they pretty much used time because it was just a lot easier. Um, you didn't have to worry about your fluctuations in dose rate because it was just a source. So you could just leave uh, the patient on, you, you calculated and said, okay, we're gonna leave the patient on for two minutes and it's gonna deliver this much dose. Um, every once in a while, you'd have to do a recalculation because of the decay factor, uh, but for the most part, day to day, uh, it didn't matter. You could just use time, and um, it would be all set. There was no fluctuations in dose rate, uh, and it was a lot easier than developing uh, a specific unit um, to deal with all that. You, you basically didn't have to. There was no point in doing that. Uh, so time just worked perfectly fine. Uh, and then with Linux, uh, the mining unit was developed um, just because it made uh, the delivery a lot more convenient. Hopefully I was able to answer your questions um, and hopefully I didn't uh, end up confusing you more. But uh, as always, uh, if you have a radiation therapy question, do not hesitate to email me. My email is adam at rt-review.com and be sure to check out my website. I have all sorts of goodies on there at rt-review.com. Thanks for watching.